It was a cold winter morning. Not a breeze in the air. The water like glass, shimmering in all its beauty. One basket, one tea pad, and a man on a mission. A mission with only one goal, one shot. The shot he's been dreaming of his entire life. A man that knows no giving up. A man that will keep trying, even if his elbow has been irreversibly damaged by his stubbornness. Close call after close call. Heartbreak after heartbreak. Is it really worth it? Who is he trying to impress? <laughs> One last shot. One last run. Can he do it? No. What a freaking idiot. Wow, hope you enjoyed that wonderful intro. I know I definitely enjoyed filming it and even more editing it. So, you're welcome. I'm here today in my car. It's a little breezy outside, so the microphone can't handle the wind noise. So I'm just here in my car to talk to you a bit about the big release tomorrow. The time lapse stock run is going to be available at all your local dealers and online shops. Always check out Power Grip, my retail sponsor, of course. We have the stock time lapse coming, and we also have the time lapse special edition stamp. Ooh, can I flash the camera a bit? Pretty, pretty cool. And I just want to talk to you a bit about disc production and disc design because the process of this disc, um, I learned a lot and really started understanding why it's so hard to make consistent discs. Like, you know if you've tried any disc manufacturer ever, really, the same mold in the same plastic from run to run or even from color to color can be so different and you always wonder like why like why don't they just make the same disc twice like it can't be that hard but that's sadly not how plastic works and injection molding so the tools they use are these super high-tech high precision molds that take forever to make and are insanely expensive mind-blowing stuff and then the way plastic works, they order raw materials to then make their discs out of. And the materials they get are never 100% exactly the same. And with molding discs that has to be so precise, every quarter of a millimeter and quarter of a degree and temperature and moisture it plays such a big role, so tiny, tiny fractions of differences in the production will, will change the result so much. It is mind-boggling and probably very frustrating for some of the manufacturers and people who have to deal with this on a daily basis. But I got a pretty good taste of why and how this works. So the first ever protos of the time-lapse that I tried, the yellow ones with a pink rim, were pretty understable. Like I could throw them on a nice hyzer and they would just flip up and glide and carry like effortless distance. I, I loved them. I thought they were just gonna be so perfect for like the general disc golfer. So I was pumped about them. And then we did the prototype run um, that was hard to get for most people, but everyone that tried it was like, holy cow, these are overstable. And I threw them and I was like, wow, these are freaking beefcakes. Good for the wind, probably, and they might have a place in my bag, but pretty much nothing like the first prototypes I threw and approved. 
So we were kind of back to the drawing board trying to figure out what was different. I was sending like photos of comparisons of the disc to uh, Brad and Chad who uh, run MVP and we tried to tweak these a bit more. And now we have these who are, these are kind of right in between the first prototypes I threw that no one else has and then the prototype were released a couple thousand of and what I noticed with these, each color, like there's some groups of colors that fly different. For example, if you get a purple one, this will be the most understable one there is. So if you have a slower arm speed or if you want something that glides and just goes, purple time lapse is actually money. It has so much turn to it and it just wants to go right. Then we have the blue, the gray, and the green. These for me were pretty neutral. So I could throw them on a slight hyzer and they would pop up, but still be pretty reliable with the finish. So this mint green is actually my personal favorite. And yeah, just straight bombers. Can handle some wind. Uh, I'm pretty sure this green one is going to make the bag for me. And then if you want something more overstable, still not as crazy as the prototypes were, but the white, the yellow, and the red tend to be the most overstable versions. So, we have the time lapse coming to you tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. It is Thanksgiving morning right now. I'm out here in the field, threw a couple shots um, that I hopefully showed you during this speech. And yeah, I just want to let you know that making a consistent disc is basically impossible. And then making an overmold consistent disc is a, a total pain because you have twice the trouble, two molds, twice the trouble. And every time you have the inner core of the disc ready, and then you add the outer rim, the inner core changes its shape and changes the way it flies, obviously. So what MVP goes through to get you these overmold discs with the gyro technology for a similar price to a single mold disc is unbelievable to me. It's, it's freaking wild. But uh, those guys freaking kill it. I'm happy with these. Please check them out tomorrow. They're gonna be all over. The internet i'm sure thank you everyone for the massive support i'm gonna go enjoy thanksgiving now with my family all right like and subscribe everyone i appreciate the massive support hope you enjoy the first ever simon line neutron time lapse peace out and i'll see you for vlogmas Good outtake. <laughs>